Dallas for the Heat. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again. Back-to-back -back titles, three in four years. It's obviously the story of the week with James Harden getting traded to the Brooklyn Nets. I hope he never wins anything in Miami. It's kind of kind of gravy train on a terrific Warriors team. To be a legitimate super team like this version of the Brooklyn Nets. I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. People are always saying about the talk, and I talk, and I talk, and I talk, but guess who can walk? be the best player in the league? I don't see why. I back it up! I back it up! We're going to cut right to the chase. Dwayne and Chris. Dwayne, we'll start with you. Where are you going to be playing next season? <laughs> well, I'm back in Miami, man. I'm back in, um, if, as now, as for now, I'm back in Wade County. Back in Miami with the Heat. Chris, you want to jump in and tell us where you're going to be as well? Yeah, I'm joining Mr. Wade in Miami. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and uh, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. What does this decision say about the shift in power in the NBA? It, it almost think. makes you want to root against them. I was very disappointed. I don't understand it. Champions don't do that. What do you think the Cleveland Cavaliers, how they're feeling? I hope he never wins anything in Miami. A lot of it goes to LeBron doing something that had never been done before. Dan Gilbert is dogged. He's got his cadre of owners dogged about never allowing this to happen again. We don't want these players moving around. Change the landscape of basketball from a standpoint of a player finally being empowered. So though you three kings came down here to win championships. Not one, championships. Not two. LeBron, tell us about that. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Transition. Wade finds James! Oh the Miami Heat, the most scrutinized team in NBA history, with their larger than life big three. They've come together to play their best basketball. Oh, James behind the back. Back to James! Oh, he throws it down! One of our three. In the goal. Oh, but the cross over! James over Pierce. That might be the tender. Now to three, now to two. Here's Rose, can he get it off? It is blocked, that will go! Headed to the NBA Finals. This was just pathetic! He unquestionably lacked well, the heart of a champion. Of In the fourth quarter especially, it was like a Everything was on Dwayne Wade. He couldn't make one jump shot. The same LeBron James who went into a trance and crumbled under pressure. Does it bother you that so many people are happy to see you fail? Absolutely not. Because at the end of the day, um, all the people that was rooting on me to fail, um, you know, at the end of the day, they got to wake up tomorrow, have the same life that they had um, before they woke up today. You know, they got the same personal problems that they had today, a few days or a few months or whatever the case may be on uh, being happy about um, not only myself, um, but the Miami Heat not accomplishing their goal. But, you know, they got to get back to the real world at some point. We were just like chomping at the bit to get back at it. Dwayne told LeBron, this is yours now. And I, when, I'm telling you, I'll never forget LeBron's face. He just kind of gave him this look like, all right. It was a domination. They just put on a show. it again. Throws it right up on the rim. The entire world is talking about the world champs who have been world beaters lately to the tune of 27 straight wins. The Heat beat the Magic in Orlando last night to stretch their victory spree to 27, which now gives them the second longest win streak in U.S. major pro sports history.
the buzzer. Bang! Even Wall talking to him. Neal has to put it up way outside. And he knocks it down. Neal touch pass to Green. Another three-pointer. It's good. 13 threes for San Antonio. Green tries a three. Oh! Danny Green does it again. Splitter. Blocked by Bosch. Show is close to a goaltend. Green. Danny Green! An NBA Finals record 15 three-pointers for the Spurs. What a dazzling shooting display here in San Antonio. Danny Green. Bang! A virtuoso performance from Danny Green. 102 to 71. Leonard pushes out to Ginobili. Puts it in! What an avalanche from San Antonio, a 21-point lead. The final seconds set to tick off. San Antonio is back on top once again. The Spurs are the 2014 NBA champions. What's your first reaction to this, Brian? Um, the last sentence, and again, this is in LeBron's voice, and, and my feeling is LeBron's probably been writing this in his head for some time now, if not days, weeks. The last sentence is the only sentence that really matters. The last sentence is, I'm ready to accept the challenge, I'm coming home. LeBron James is going back to Cleveland. I'm a dude what makes my city and my state happy, and that's why I came back. I love you. I'm back. And the dream season is now complete. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. Their first title in 40 years. And how sweet it must be for those crazy loyal Bay Area fans. Golden State sitting on top of the Western Conference and with a chance for an NBA record 73rd win. They have no cruise control in them. When they have a, a supreme advantage, they take full advantage. They step on your throat. They have serious killer instinct. The way they're coming together, how in God's name are they going to stop? And has anybody going to stop them? Now, I'm just looking at the Golden State Warriors, and I'm like, damn it, this is just not fair. One hand to the Could these Warriors be the best team ever? Are the Warriors going to get to 73 wins? Well, I definitely think the chances should be better than 46%. I can tell you that much. Um, you know, I proclaimed a long time ago that I believe they'll get to 73 wins. Every time they get challenged, everybody's, anytime anyone says you can't do that, mm -hmm. they say, watch us do that. So with 73, they're all on the record. We're going to do this. We're going for it. We're not going to rest. We're going for 73 because we have a chance to do something that has never been done and might not ever be done again. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way down to bang! Bang! It's official number 73. The greatest regular season in NBA history now belongs to the 2016 Golden State Warriors. Trying to stay with Curry, catches, one dribble, steps back, puts up a three, won't go, rebound tip taken by Spades, final seconds, it's over, it's over! Cleveland is a city of champions once again! The Cavaliers are NBA champions! Uh, the news again coming in moments ago, Kevin Durant heading to the Golden State Warriors. How are you viewing this move from Durant? Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. Plain and simple, that's just how I look at it. And you depart for the team that beat you when you're on the cusp of getting to the finals yourself or ultimately winning the championship for the franchise that you've been with since you've come into the NBA, I think it's incredibly weak. I, I never wanted to play with them. I always wanted to beat them because it, it was a sense to me of pride and purpose to beat the other greats. I was disappointed like I was disappointed when uh, LeBron went to, to, to Miami. You know, Kevin's a terrific player, he's a good kid, uh, but just disappointed at the fact that he weakened another team and he's got a kind of gravy train on a terrific Warriors team. I'm uh, just disappointed from a competitive standpoint. Tip. Curry on the 
on the go route. Back to Durant. What a play. Stripped to the ball. Oh, by no. Curry. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Back to Durant, who tomahawks it home. Oh, oh. I'm a story about that in a second. Play three. There it is. A new career high. Oh, Warriors are having fun. Play for three. Some room fires and hits. James trying to harass Curry. Curry off the dribble, layup off the glass. Here's Durant across the lane. Durant foul, shot goes in and one. Durant down the lane. Curry deep three, puts it in. Durant for three. It's good. Kevin Durant from downtown. And Golden State takes the lead. There it is. Redemption for Golden State. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete. Curry and Durant. Curry throws it up. Durant throws it down. Curry sets fire, puts it up. Bang! Curry's going to have to put it up. Launches it up. Shot clock. Oh, he knocks it down. Shot clock at five. Kevin Durant way outside. Delivers! There's the buzzer. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again, back-to-back -back titles, three in four years. With a surprise move, the Warriors agreed to sign DeMarcus Cousins to a one-year, $5.3 million contract. Become the first team since the 1975-76 Celtics to have five All-Stars. Still a win for the Warriors, but you would have loved to have had a shot to win the game. They go towards the bench, and Kevin Durant was like, I was asking for the ball, why didn't you give me the ball, et cetera, et cetera. And Draymond Green just went off, started cussing him out. Uh, obviously, the, the B word is something that everybody's been using. Draymond Green has said that to a lot of people. He certainly said that to Kevin Durant. So the process of Draymond Green going off, Draymond Green said to Kevin Durant, essentially, you got one foot in, one foot out. You're not down with this team the way, you know, the way the rest of us are. And basically questioned Kevin Durant's uh, commitment. And that's where it really, really crossed the line. We've noticed that you hadn't talked for a while. Why do you care? Ask me about free agency, ask my teammates, my coaches. Grow up. Yeah, you, grow up. Let us play basketball. Who are you? Why do I gotta talk to you? I'm done. I think this is the end of the Warriors dynasty. If they lose Kevin Durant, no doubt. This will be their final season playing together in Golden State. A lot of people speculated already that KD would be leaving. I don't think KD knows for sure what he's going to do. The rumblings around the league are that this is probably his last year there. To the playoffs, they don't call as many fouls. You can't be lazy on passes. And, and you hope that Cousins is not hurt. But the loss of Cousins, if it is prolonged, how significant in your mind is that for Golden State going forward? It's Durant with Shepard defending. Kevin Durant races one through. And he's hurt. He is. Oh, shot. He started with this. Look at this. I don't believe it's a calf injury. Tell me whether or not KD should risk playing. He's not going to try to stay with Durant. Knocks it away and Durant's looking. Durant goes down holding his leg. Thompson grabs his left knee. The Raptors, the 2019 NBA champs. Just before Kyrie Irving talked about how you and DJ and he spoke at 4.16 in the morning, the day of free agency, can you tell us a little bit more about those conversations? What happened here? Kevin Durant is going to sign with the Nets four years, $164 million. He will join Kyrie Irving and then DeAndre Jordan. We just like, are we ready to do it? And um, everybody was like, yeah. I mean, it was really that simple. <laughs> because Brooklyn is so good, when you look at the parts around them, if Kyrie and KD comes and they are who we know them to be, Brooklyn should win it all. Yeah, they should win it all. Okay. This time next year, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the Los Angeles Lakers will be facing the Brooklyn Nets in the NBA Finals.
James Harden wants out. He wants out by any means necessary. How likely is any of this, though? Are we really looking at a potential scenario here where James Harden could be leaving Houston and could potentially be there in Brooklyn? Here's Durant. Crosses. Oh, what a fake! Irving breaking it down! Durant. Good night! A three! Leads Irving. Let's talk about James Harden. Now, he missed practice on Sunday, and they said that was because of COVID-19 protocols. But there was a video that emerged over the weekend that shows James Harden allegedly at a strip club. Kevin Durant, a hard jam and a foul. Here's Irving, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, what a fake over Osman looking. I know you saw the story of James Harden and a rookie named Jay Sean Tate. So Jay Sean Tate uh, had a ball thrown at him. From James Harden. Now, James Harden is lashing out because he wants to get out. James Harden is throwing, I think James Harden is 30, 31 years of age. He's throwing a temper tantrum. Out of shape and a bit overweight. Just not good enough. Um, uh, obviously, chemistry, talent-wise, just, I love this city. Um, I literally, you know, done everything that I can, but it's something that uh, I don't think can be fixed. So, um, yeah, thanks. Obviously, the story of the week was James Harden getting traded to the Brooklyn Nets. What are these Brooklyn Nets with James Harden? Yeah, I mean, they have great talent. There's no question. They may figure it out this season. I don't know if it'll happen that quickly. It's going to be messy for the Brooklyn Nets. But ultimately, stars win in this league, Tony. This is not just on the basketball court. You're dealing with Irving and Harden, personalities, and Durant. That, I mean, the likes of which I don't even know. It's a rookie head coach. Uh, it's going to be the best soap opera ever, probably. Uh, I think it's going to be amazing TV to watch. I cannot wait to watch it. A news flash for people. They're winning the East, period. They are winning the East. Brooklyn looks every bit as good in reality as they do on paper. 25, oh, make it 28. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Durant with a mid-range jumper pure again. I mean, he can't do As anything to stop, to stop that. that. Yeah. Hard, the Euro for two. This is a, a great friendship, too, that we're seeing rekindled. The Beard puts up a triple-double. Kyrie Irving is locked in. Kevin Durant goes to the rim and flushes it down. They're unstoppable. They've won 15 of their last 17 games. They've beaten every top contender and pretender in the league. Yes, the Brooklyn Nets should be favored. It would be a travesty, a mockery, a farce if the Brooklyn Nets were not the favorites to win the championship. This is the best scoring trio the game has ever seen. Could that Nets team win the championship? Oh yeah, they could win the championship they play like that. But the offensive firepower that the Brooklyn Nets have, and in order to beat them, you're going to have to be able to stop them. And I don't know anybody that can look at those three dudes and say definitively, we can stop them. Chance for the Nets to take the lead. Step back three. Good! Right between the eyes! Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Gifted. Harden. Jeff Green. Oh! And on the move, a deep three, Kyrie in the house. Is the East a foregone conclusion at this point? Can anybody it's been a foregone conclusion in my opinion. opinion. I said that when James Harden went over. It's the first thing I said. Milwaukee will be there. The 76ers will be there. There are really good teams in the conference. But in the day, I said it just with James Harden, Kyrie, and Kevin Durant. If they're both on the floor, I didn't find anybody stopping this trio offensively. Irving. Oh, the acceleration. Oh, what a finish. If you have an opportunity to create a super team as an organization, you do it. You always take that swing. The Nets are going to sign Blake Griffin. As LaMarcus Aldridge joined Blake Griffin, who joined James Harden in joining Katie and Kyrie. What do you think about this super team forming in Brooklyn? You add his play with this team, it's over. This is like the Avengers. I need time to learn all these characters. There's too many people. <laughs> what about competition? But if we just gonna stockpile and get everybody to try to steal a championship, I mean, come on.